Yo, what's up guys? Another video and once again it's Dragons because Giants was already figured out by someone else. It was this team. Pretty smart team in general actually. And this team is revolving around having a Julie in Giants with a Prilia as armor breaker and then going in with the Kyle for damage. Kona boosting up the Kyle again to get more damage in and then the Homunculus for a finisher. Runes on this team are pretty good. You do see a lot of these um, ancient runes and that mainly does show that a lot of these runes are already right. I'm showcasing this team. I didn't necessarily make this team. I made this team in Dragons, which is harder than this, but just to showcase this where the idea came from. This is a very solid team and this is definitely something that I think people that especially do not have the Teshar can maybe build this. Because it's full free to play, there's no Tesha, there's no nothing. And it runs about like 31 seconds average. If you do not have the Del Seam, Kyle also works. But if I I would probably say that uh, Del Seam has faster animations. You could also give, instead of the Homunculus, a Teon in there. And then boost up the Del Seam again. And then keep popping back and forth between that. That is also an option for that. If you don't want to build the Homunculus, you definitely do have a different... Um, Kyle's about 35 average, Delsim is 31 average. Hmm, interesting, good information to know. So yeah, if you have Delsim, that's about 4 seconds faster. Personally, I do not have Delsim, so I'm going to be showcasing the team that I'm running later with a Kyle, because, well, this is just very solid as it is. But keep in mind that the team that I'm going to be showcasing is also 4 seconds slower technically than whatever it's shown here. You do have the count in here, which does make this team a lot, uh, or like just the whole run a little bit slower. But in the end, team by Ka or by Far Tamalio, very solid team, absolutely like it. And I gave a little bit of my own taste to it with my runes and then using that in Dragons, however, because I could ruin that also for Giants and then I could showcase, hey, it works. Like if he can make it work and he already showed the runes, definitely I'll be putting his Reddit post in the description down below. So give a vote up to that one. But I have that same theme for uh, dragons. This is going to be more difficult because my Kyle, as you can see, is a little bit heavier on the room quality. You can do for 85 um, crit rate, which helps out a bit. This one has to be, the Julie has to be on the tick of this, which is, I think, 5 tick or 4 tick. I don't even remember the exact numbers. And then the uh, Julie has to be 1 tick lower. And then the Kyle, 1 tick lower than that because the, otherwise the Kona Mia cannot do the boost up. So that is what you have to do for those kind of things. So that definitely uh, is what you need. And then the Luna, in this case, I had to go for Luna. You could go for a Lin, but once I test, like Luna is definitely the best in slot on that uh, final slot to fit in. And we were like with the idea, like, okay, we can also try to lower that towards a Luna or other units. I'm going to tell you already right now, it's not going to happen without a Luna. Even this is already somewhat on the difficult side. And as you can see, Kyle is a lot slower than Delsima. For some reason, I fed all of my water Delsims. I had him before. I don't have him anymore. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this totally works. Similar style, similar way. But then in the final dragon, you don't do that much damage. And as you can see, I had pretty good runes on it. But you're still lacking quite some damage, and then you're still lacking a little bit of damage. I can clear with the Luna skill 3, but the odds are where a uh, Julie did an S2 instead of, or did an uh, S1 instead of an S2 on the armor break on the boss first. Kyle went for a double S1 or triple S1. There, there's a lot of things that could go with that, where you could say like, okay, it goes wrong because of that. Someone in the chat also mentioning how about Shina instead of Lauren. Well, if Lauren misses an armor break, Run is pretty much screwed. But Lauren at least has the pushback, which can kind of recover the uh, run as well. A Shina missing an armor break is an insta fail. So you could technically say you go for Shina plus Talia in these slots, or in a Shina plus Sabrina, I mean. That would definitely be something as well, but it's not going to be enough. So in this case, we don't have enough damage. And then we have to go for that S2 or even a little bit more than that S2. So that's pretty much how this team just runs. Is this that something that I would recommend you to run? In all honesty, uh, probably not. This, this is just one of those ideas that can run. For the Giants team, for the Giants team, I definitely do recommend to run it. If you don't have the Tesher, if you have the Tesher team, I would definitely go for the Tesher team. Because the Tesher team is faster, it's better, it's uh, it's just, it's also easier to run than this. Um, but if you want to go towards Dragons, Dragons, like a lot of people mentioned in my previous video with the Homunculus. The Homunculus was 
uh, pretty hard to build. Let, let's a little bit say very hard to build. And I didn't notice it until some uh, I saw some other people testing it. Apparently, the Amunculus goes into a skill 3 more often when the boss is below 50% HP. My Or the twins from me do that much damage in my team on the video of like two days ago three days ago they did so much damage that this boss was almost always below 50 percent hp also my twins did that much damage that even if there was immunity up it could still burst its way through so you need an insane god set pretty much on the twins to do enough damage to hit those thresholds to actually make it work so the room requirements on that one for the shina and probably even the uh, what's it called for the china and for the julie is not that crazy but for the two water twins is absolutely insane and i would arguably say that i can do better artifacts than what i have or some people have better artifacts than what i have this is the insta clear so that's 31 seconds so yeah that's with the team that i don't really recommend to rune um the homunculus team i don't really recommend to rune it's too difficult to rune unless you have god tier runes go for it this team pretty much same thing uh, as well i would say this team is pretty much bound to the likelihood this team would work perfectly as it is right now i think it would work for would it work with worse wrong quality not that much and you're still pretty much on the mercy of the lauren armor break and if lauren doesn't armor break your run is pretty much failing so I haven't really seen a team that's around like 30 seconds, 35 seconds that's very easy to run. But I would say if you go something along the team which I've showcased before where you have the setup. Because what makes dragons fast is not having to face the spray. Every time that the spray doesn't happen, you're pretty much just saving like five seconds it's really an insane amount of saving in time also this run keep in mind this could be down to like 28 29 seconds if i had the dal seam rather than the kyle because the kyle's just slow on animation and he's moving all the time so keep in mind this team is technically like four or five seconds faster as well well three to four but so this team is actually pretty much as fast as the other team as well so hmm, maybe this team is actually better if you have the crazy runes for it you do need a luna then but but what I was saying about was, okay, what team do I recommend you guys to farm with is probably the team with the third, the Lauren, and then the twins. And then probably the Shina next to it or something, like three twins. And the reason that I give that team, that team has like the specific uh, speeds, I don't know them by heart, but you have a specific speed where all of your water twins move before the right tower moves the first time. And I think that's like plus 65 on the Talia. I could be mistaken in that. Or plus 65 on the third. Something like along the lines. I think it was plus 65 on the third. And then everything like ticks faster than that. It, it was pretty much something along the line of that. But don't add me on that one. Because I'm not 100% sure about that. So um, yeah. I think I would recommend people to run that team. And then you're probably looking at like 40 seconds average. To actually run that team. And that will be your probably your best time that is doable to get. Because then you have three twins moving two times against the boss. You will eat a spray. You just have to survive the spray, which is not that difficult. But you have to survive one spray, move before the right tower with the third hell, and then clear up the whole boss in that second rotation. Likelihoods of being armor broken is very high that way because you have multiple rotations of multiple units armor breaking and that kind of stuff. And that is probably your easiest speed team you can run that is a 100% consistent or as close to. This run we have also already seen fail because the Lauren just missed an armor break. The Amunculus team that I was showcasing before also does fail for me. It is very unlikely. It didn't happen all too much. I've been running it pretty much for like a day and a half to two days. It did fail from time to time. And the weird thing with the fails for me was sometimes it failed like once or twice in a run of 10, like back to back. And then it didn't fail for another 10 runs. And then it fails like three times back to back in like a run of 10 again. So on like the fourth or the seventh or the second. And then it started running for another 15, never failing. So that team was really wonky in that one. Can you replace Lucifer with the Light Homie and the Julie team? I do not know how much Lucifer boosts up. So it's very hard for me to say if that actually works or not. I could see, for example, in this team, maybe you can replace the Luna with a Lucifer. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that could be a thing. 
Uh, that team I used China because of armor breaks in that team. Because there was no Lauren in that team. Um, if you use a Verde Hill Lauren plus Twins team, you don't need China. You can go for a Deva. And Deva is probably stronger, I would say, than a um, China. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Dragons video. So sorry for the people that didn't read the description or didn't read the comments and tried to build the Amonkless team and then went to the video and hit the dislike button and wrote down in the comments, my Amonkless derps. I'm like, yeah, that was because of room quality. So in this case, we do have a derp of Lauren as well. And that's hard to recover from. And that's where this team is going to fail as well. Most likely. Yep, team is failing. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. And this is where I would recommend people, if you want to have a 100% consistent run, use that third Lauren team that makes the whole team move twice. And that team will probably not fail you like this team just failed me. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you as always in the next video. And also check out the video on the lowest room requirements on this dungeon because you can actually farm this on an account that's four days old. Yeah, that was just, I don't know. This dungeon is actually by far the easiest to run as long as you just work with pushbackers. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.